welcome to Cooking with Papa Tuck with Michelle and Papa Tuck's Kitchen. We've got a special show we're doing up tonight. Michelle's going to be doing one of her favorite meals the way that she does it. Mm -hmm. Chicken and fajitas. Chicken fajitas. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, well, me too. I want you to take right over the show and I want you to show everybody how you do the fajitas. This All is, right. Is this a nice and expensive meal for the this, families on the run out This there? is a fantastic meal. Awesome. Yeah. So I'm kicking Papa Tuck out of his own yeah, kitchen. Yeah, take and, over uh, And I'm taking over. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, everyone out there. Uh, I am not much of a cook, but I am uh, a person that really loves to entertain my friends. I'm not a person that shops uh, for clothes or anything, but I definitely cook for my friends. And that is one of my uh, favorite things to do is good music, good food, good wine, friends. Um, and I don't have a lot of money, so I always have to find ways uh, to, to make my dollars stretch so we can all have a good time. So chicken fajitas is one way that you can make your dollar last, which is very, very nice. Because you can also use these ingredients for other meals. You can freeze uh, what you have left over and you can make chicken fajitas into tacos and burritos and enchiladas and tostadas, uh, which is very, very nice. If you marinate your meat beforehand uh, and you have that ready for, your, for you in the evening when you get home, ladies, and you can just put it right on on your grill, what we're using is a Presto because that's what uh, Papa Tuck loves to use, so that's what I love to use. So we're just gonna jump right in here. What I like to do is to cut uh, the inside portion of my peppers out. Just sort of get rid of that right there. And like I said, I am I am not a cook. Uh, I just recently started cooking in the last 10 years. I'm a, I'm a girl that likes to go to restaurants and, and I've worked in many fine dining environments where I've met a lot of wonderful chefs that have given me amazing tips on how to make meals. So I just recently picked up this wonderful thing to do with my time uh, because it's a, a lovely expression of friendship. So what I do is I cut my peppers a little julienne style, which means uh, lengthwise. So I do that. Nice fresh peppers and obviously they're not spicy ladies you know that they're not spicy gentlemen and it's so funny I keep saying ladies but for the most part I think we all know men do the cooking don't they isn't that great but when you have to do the cooking ladies it's a it's also a good time so I'm just gonna julienne these get these all set up put them off to the side and do the next situation the same way get rid of my middle julienne uh, which makes it uh, a nice easy way to eat because your fajitas are obviously lengthwise so I don't like things falling out of out of my food uh, so I just cut these up julienne style and my pan should be on and cracking I'm gonna put this to about 250 275 I am in Papa Tuck's kitchen, and I am here today because I love Papa Tuck. He's a great guy, and he's doing wonderful things. But it's also because this is the very last time that Papa Tuck is going to be in this kitchen. So I wanted to sort of uh, bid farewell to the uh, popular and all of the, all of the wonderful times that he's had here in this kitchen. I'm sure you've seen some of the shows. So this is the very last show. Uh, in this kitchen because Papa Tuck is moving to a new location with a lovely new kitchen. So this is our ode to what's been going on so far. So I'm going to finish my julienne style here. And then we're going to get started. And like I said, I, I don't have time. I do a lot of things in my life uh, that involve food, friends, wine. I'm a voracious reader. So I don't always have time to... to stock my refrigerator. I literally go shopping the day that I think of something to eat. I know most people have lots of supplies in their kitchen, uh, but I do not. I always go shopping fresh that day uh, so that I get the best deals, actually. And I make for my friends. I make for my friends music. I make for my friends food and good times. So we cut these lengthwise, lengthwise like I said. Get rid of the side over there. This is warming up. Um, I like to use all fresh vegetables, like I said before. We got these vegetables from the Stop and Shop. Uh, we got all of our ingredients here today from the Stop and Shop, and that is the community neighborhood um, grocery store here. And they have wonderful deals for everyone. It is a tough economy, 
So everything that they have there always has always has um, something on sale. I'm sure you, you buy things on sale as well. So I always buy fresh, fresh uh, produce and things like that, fresh cheeses. Um, right now, what Papa Tuck did give me was peanut oil. Uh, you always wanna be a little bit careful about using peanut oil, especially if you're having a dinner party uh, because obviously allergies and things like that. You can use whatever you like. You can use olive oil or canola oil or, or whatever that is. Just make sure that your friends and family uh, aren't allergic to it. I hear this is sort of uh, getting ready on the pan here and our presto. Just gonna put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan. And I like my vegetables to be still crunchy. I know some people sort of like them to be cooked a little bit more or less. I like them to be a little bit crunchy because I need to know that all of the vitamins and all the wonderful things that you get out of vegetables are still there. I don't like cooking out my vegetables too much. I like for them to retain some of their loveliness so that I get my nutrition. All right, so that is doing up. And another wonderful thing that I've learned being an experimental cook is that I just put it in. I just put whatever I decide in the pan and I experiment. I don't judge myself. I experiment and it usually comes out different every time and it comes out wonderful. All right, and I will be right back. All right, welcome back to Cooking with Papa Tuck and I am your host, Michelle, uh, doing a farewell show here uh, the final time in this uh, infamous kitchen where he has filmed hundreds of wonderful uh, cooking shows that are for families that are on the go, families that need to come together and spend that time around the table talking uh, and that you can make your dollar stretch. Uh, if you need to know uh, the recipes for these, uh, the written recipes for these, it is on papabooks.net. It's right there. And uh, you can find them there. Although, I'm sure you know, and you can write this down as well. So I'm just sort of sauteing my my peppers here. And I'm a big fan of garlic. I use powdered garlic, I use real garlic. I love, 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 love garlic. It's so good for you and it's so tasty. I usually try to go up high when I season so that I don't over season, but is there really a such thing? I don't know. Also, while that's cooking up, I just want to maybe send out a challenge to everyone out there in the nation because this show is all across the nation in your own, on your own public access channel in your neighborhood. So I'd like to send out a challenge to everyone out there. What Papa Tuck is doing here on Martha's Vineyard, lovely Martha's Vineyard, is we're trying to help out the community because everyone is going through tough times right now. So at the food pantry, we're trying to, to donate food to the food pantry by way of having our neighborhood uh, grocery store place a box uh, outside of the check stand uh, where people can just throw in a can of food, a box of food, something that can be donated to the pantry. It costs you minimal, but it's really nice to be able to know that you're helping other people. Everyone, uh, I mean, we all know that we've got it hard, but some people have it harder than you do. So it's very nice to remember those people because it's not always easy to ask for help. So I'm sending out a challenge. You know, go to your neighborhood store. Uh, also, the young people out there, you're more voracious about these things. Go to the neighborhood store and, and ask them to, to put a box out that would benefit the people in your neighborhood that might need some help. Uh, and that could just be your neighbor, and you never, ever know, because it is hard to ask for help. So that is a challenge for everyone out there to make a difference in your community like Papa Tuck is trying to make here. All right, moving on with the food. Moving on. My peppers are doing very well. And like I said, you can cook your peppers as long as you like. I kind of like mine to be still a little bit crunchy, have a little bit of that organic flavor to it. Oh, and it's starting to smell real good. Garlic makes everything smell good, doesn't it? All right, I can smell that cooking up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, what you can do with your chicken, and we all know chicken goes a long way, what you can do with your chicken the night before, which is very nice, is make yourself a marinade. I always put foil on the bottom of the pan, ladies and gentlemen, so 